Hello and welcome, my name is Bailey Moss, and today's video is part two of a two-part series on how to generate a multi-part document via Document Score Pack one-click action. In this video, I'll be showing how to create a multi-part one-click action to generate and send an employee onboarding package, as shown in my part one video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button to get the latest how-tos, updates, and new features for all of our products. But yeah, to give you a refresher on what multi-part functionality is, um, it's functionality that allows you to generate a single document from multiple elements, and this includes dynamic templates, static documents from notes, or even static documents from SharePoint that you can um, concatenate and send as a single document. But yeah, so, so let's go ahead and get started here. So first things first, of course, you're going to open up Dynamics, and I'll be working from the Sales Hub. However, the functionality is going to be the same no matter what model-driven um, app, either out of the box or custom that you're using. Uh, from there, we'll need to navigate to the Advanced Settings area. Um, I already have the tab open, but once it's open, you'll hit the Settings drop-down to open up the sitemap. And from there, you'll navigate to Documents Core Pack. Once the Documents Core Pack UI is loaded, you'll go to the One Click Actions tab. And you can see here there are several entities currently active. If you don't see the entity that you'd like to add a One Click Action to, you can just go to the available list and activate it by checking the box next to it. But in this case, for my employee onboarding package, I want to create a new one-click action for the contact entity. So I'll go ahead and hit this edit one-click actions for the contact. And you can see I have two options here, single record action and batch action. So a single record means I can select a single record from a view or I can have that record open and it'll show me those one-click actions. For the batch actions, it's going to show me buttons if I've selected multiple records from a view. In this case, I want to create a new single record action, so I'll go ahead and hit New Single. And the first thing you need is a name, so I'll go ahead and give this a name, which is going to be Employee Onboarding Package, and then OK. Additionally, you can give the button a description to um, give more info to your end users, users. However, it's not a required field, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that, and then hit Next. And yeah, so this is really where the multi-part functionality comes in for template selection. So instead of allow user selection, which allows them to select from a list of templates or predefined template, we're going to use multi-part because we're going to be using multiple templates as well as related documents. Um, so my example will include two dynamic templates, two static templates, and two documents from SharePoint for a total of six documents. However, there's no real limit to the number of documents you can add. So my first template, first document is going to be a template, and that label is going to be quick contact sheet. And as mentioned, it's a template, so I've defined it as type template. And I'm going to select this from a select my template from a lookup, which this template's name is employee quick contact sheet. You can also give this uh, each document a description. However, I'm going to skip that for this one. You can also um, select this conditionally and make it optional. In this case, I always want to include it, so I won't add a condition or make it optional, and I do want to show it in the dialog. So now I'll add my next template to this, or next document, and this will also be a template. So this is going to be my background check document. And as mentioned, this is a template, and then I'll look that up in the um, template lookup, which this is going to be called background check consent and then also no description for this. An additional um, item you'll see here is the concatenate formatting. So you can set formatting to how you want these merged, um, whether to retain um, formatting from each document separately or to use the first document as the base for formatting. Um, however, in this case, I'm gonna leave it default because I want each of my documents to retain their um, formatting. However, for this one, I do wanna make it optional. I don't know why you'd make a background check optional, but for this example, I'll go ahead and make it optional. So I'm going to add my next document, which is actually going to be my first static document. However, it's still a template. It's just a template with no dynamic fields. So, and I'm going to go ahead and not give this a name because I'm actually going to um, select two documents for this one. So my first will be employment application, and I'm, I won't make I won't make any edits to this yet. And then I also want my new higher form 
And the reason I didn't give this a label or description is because I actually want to join these into a, a selectable dropdown. So I'll go ahead and join these by hitting that button there. And then now I'll give it a title, which will be my package type. So this will allow users to select between the two because it's an either or option. So I either want them to send a new hire form or I either want to include a new hire form or an employment application. And I'll also make this optional. And then finally, I'm going to start adding my SharePoint documents. So my first SharePoint document is going to be a tax form or they'll both be tax forms, but this will be a W9. And it's going to be a, from SharePoint. So I need my SharePoint URL, which I have on the other screen. So I'll just grab that URL really quickly, place it in there, and then give this a description, which will be tax form contractor. And so, yeah, I'm actually going to add a condition to this one because I only want it to show if the contact is a contractor. So I did add a custom field to the contact. Um, form to s say yes or no for contractor. So I'll go ahead and add that condition here and that'll be contractor equals yes and then OK. So this will only bring in the template if the um, contractor is set to yes on the contact field. So now I'll add one more document and this will also be from SharePoint and this will be my um, opposite uh, tax form. So this will be a form I9 and this will also be from SharePoint and I'll grab that SharePoint link over here really quick, place it there, and tax form non-contractor. And then I'm going to give the exact opposite condition. So I'm going to do contractor equals no. Additionally, you can add these um, conditions using fetch XML from an advanced find. However, I'm going to use our UI for this um, example scenario. So I'll go ahead and switch that to no. And that's it. So those are all my documents added. As you can see, I've got my um, always included contact sheet, optional background check, and then my um, package, which is going to be either the employment application or new hire form, which is selectable and optional. And then I've got my conditional items below. which So it's either going to bring in a form W9 if, a, if the contact is a contractor and a form I9 if non-contractor. So next, I'll go ahead and hit next, and now you're deciding how is that document being generated. What is it being saved as? Where is it being attached? So in my case, I'm going to generate it as a PDF. I'd like to attach it as an email attachment, and then I'm going to default my email sender to the current user and the recipient to the contact ID themselves. And then now I also want to add an email template, which is also a Documents Core Pack template. So you can, you can create email content using Documents Core Pack templates as well to make them dynamic. Um, so in my case, this will be uh, my employee onboarding package email template. Um, I'm not going to, or actually I will go ahead and set this to send the email automatically. So as soon as you click that button, it'll send the email. And then I'm going to hide these settings so that end users can't change them. Um, you can also set them as default, lock them, um, or as I'm doing, hide them. So I'm going to go ahead and hide these settings. And then we have some review steps that you can allow. But in this case, I don't want any review. I just want to click the button. And, and have it generate and send that employee onboarding package. So I'll go ahead and save that. And all right, so, so yeah, the one click action is done. So now I'm going to go back to my um, sales hub and find a contact to trigger that against. So yeah, you can see here I've got uh, my own contact, Bailey Moss. I'll go ahead and open them, open um, him up. And then what you can see here is the contractor field is set to yes. So it should bring in my W9. And so to access those one-click actions, we'll just hit our button called Create Document here. And now you can see it. So it's that employee onboard, onboarding package. Now I have the option. So it's including the quick contact sheet. I do want to include a background check, consent form, and then I'll define the um, package type as new hire form. And then generating. So yeah, so what this is doing is it's, it's generating all those documents and bringing the documents from SharePoint, concatenating them, attaching them to an email, filling in the email content, and sending all in a single process. So all from that one click. Uh, fair warning here, though, this can take slightly longer as it is bringing in or generating multiple documents and bringing in multiple files from SharePoint. But yeah, there it is. You can see the from to is set. Uh, the subject is set, which can be set dynamically through the template, the email content. 
And there's my attachment. And we've got our um, employee quick contact sheet, our consent to background and reference check, um, the employee record sheet, and of course my W-9. But yeah, that's pretty much it. My contact information along with a link to our website and free trial information can be found in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, and thank you for watching.